In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore.
If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more, but you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When the day comes, you will know that I am in my Father, and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. My Father will love those who love me. I too will love them and reveal myself to them. It isn't enough just to say that we love Jesus. Instead, we have to show God our love by doing the right things, just like you show your love to your parents and your friends. So, do you think Jesus likes to hear you say, I love you? I know he does, but he likes it even more when you show him that you love him. So what are some things that we can do to show our love for Jesus? When we take care of others, we show our love for Jesus, right? When we provide food to people who don't have any, we show love. When we pray with someone, we show love. When we visit someone who's sick or lonely, we show love. These days with COVID-19, we can visit with someone over the phone or on the computer, right? What are some other ways that we can show love? Jesus explained that this helper wouldn't be someone you could see, but would still be very real. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to the disciples after he was gone. The Holy Spirit would teach them all everything that they needed to know. After Jesus left, the disciples would be confused about what Jesus had wanted them to do and how to go about building the church he'd started. But Jesus promised that they would not be alone. The Holy Spirit would come to them and show them what they needed to do. And do you know what? The Holy Spirit is still here with us. He is still here working in the church. He inspires people to do what is right and to learn the truth. Can you think of times when the Holy Spirit helped you? So friends, this is our last video message to you. This is about when we would be ending classes. And we decided we're gonna take a break for a while. We will keep you posted though on any program news like when we get to have the First Communion Masses and what's happening with VBS and registration for YFF for next year. We will definitely be in touch. We pray for continued health and safety for all of you and can't wait until we can be back together again. God bless you.